Hello, good day to everyone, and I welcome you to the another episode on mold flows, tips and workflow. In this episode, I am going to speak about, or probably discuss about the very well known aesthetic as well as structural issue for which many of the product designers and as well as mold designers or a processor engineers, you know, do the injection molding simulation or I'll refer it as mold flow simulation for it. I'm talking about the weld line defect. Yes, it's aesthetically, you know, it's very critical because it get very much, you know, impressed on your part for the few of the materials like EBS or polycarbonates. However, in case of like crystalline materials like you know HDP or polypropylene, uh, these effects may be uh, minimal. I mean to say, there are two causes for the weld line: is the features that you have in a part, like I'm showing it in front of you, like you get you know cutouts in the part where the melt front gets divided and reunite. There, and the other reason is the number of gates and I refer always in during my demonstration is that N-1 is the weld line that you expect for the gates and is the number of gates minus 1 like suppose if you have like a 3 gates minus 1 that is like in 2 weld lines you can expect out of the 3 gates but many times our parts are very very complicated and um, along with the number of gates the part feature also plays a critical play over here now many of the users has been using 3d mesh for a quite long time and they made a 3d mesh as the usual process for or the usual mesh for running the mold for analysis in this episode, I'm going to discuss about how do you go and correctly interpret the weld lines. Well, in this case, I have single gate and the part as you can see has a like in a three holes where my melt front is going to get divided and reunite. As you can see that the bigger circle flow meets and again onto the like two smaller circles as well as the flow gates splitted actually but we go and uh, do the analysis I always you know prefer to look at the flow front and uh, obviously obviously watch that how the flow front is meeting and more the angle I would say that um, means the head on the angle uh, more stronger the weld lines you will get it but yes of course we look for the temperature flow front at which the weld lines are forming higher the temperature more the chances that the weld lines gets fused but in case of like the amorphous material polycarbonate abs or you know even in, in case of pmma and if you're working on a like a clear lenses or the clear parts you will still get the hairline effect of this one it's more like the property of the materials to be behaving that and but obvious uh, many of the users because of the busy schedule always try to refer the weld lines um, and uh, they also try to check the weld line with the temperature like in this case i go and uh, try to highlight that weld line instead of default i will always go and look for the you know the temperature at which the weld line has been formed or the temperature at flow front hit ok and and it shows that these weld lines are forming you know well within that 5 degree temperature drop from the melt and all of the weld lines could be you know strong this is the something that you will this plot is something that you you will get it into the dual domain mesh as well as into the 3D mesh. Something like a surface. So the weld lines that you see are onto the surface. Where mold flow differentiate or probably from the version 2016, we got into the 
something called as the well line formation 3d where it takes you through the much into the details and show you how the well lines are getting formed and i could easily overlay my flow front temperature and this will probably give you a better understanding if i make this well line to be visible you know as as a single plot or the single color and make them as the red one so that they get highlighted okay yep highlighted as the red and then i overlay the plot i could able to see that in between inside the part how the well lines are getting formed this gives a much better understanding and but obvious and uh, many times i get the queries that sir the well line that we, what you see on a part are in actual part are much longer than what you see onto the mold flow well for that the mold flow has another plot called as a well line surface movement and you can see that now the effect of material the effect of temperature and the flow behavior during the packing all together has taken into the considerations whatever the plots that we just saw one was a surface well line and other was a well line just formed when the flow is meeting at that point but what you are seeing on your screen now is the well surface movement that is the effect of temperature effect of pressure effect of material when i say pressure is a packing and how the during packing also the little bit of compensation happens into the mold that causes the weld lines to move and what you see on your screen is the weld line that has moved uh, after the packing but obvious this parts looks uh, very simple and i just thought of like you know explaining it but if you want i can show it on a little complicated part uh, okay this is a actually a my pump house cover and uh, let's look at the weld line and the, what you see a weld line this is a surface weld line but obvious in any of the software but you will get to know that this is a surface weld line and you will get the meeting angle and you can overlay the temperature plot but we want to go a little deep dive on it is we see that how the weld lines are now forming onto the inside the part okay and then the weld line after the movement actually you can see that the weld lines has become much longer and this is what the in actual reality and this may also cause the other effects like you know a black uh, blemishness or the surface defects and probably we don't know that this is caused by the weld line so if you are referring a weld line if you want to deep dive on i would always encourage you to look at these three uh, weld lines plots weld line that's a dual domain mesh where it 3d doesn't you convert that 3d into the dual domain and that the uh, weld line plot is shown on to the surface of your part of the surface then weld line uh, weld surface formation what you see over here is the 3d weld line inside the part we take the resolution inside and we'll see how the weld lines are forming and then this is the actual one that has impact of material behavior temperature and packing pressure as it move at the end of the filler i hope this will help you to interpret the well line results much into the detail just rather than just looking into the surface plot talk to you again in next week take care bye